Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so ready for this. I'm high on sugar. <laughs> Of white wine, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're here at Songsu and we're so excited. I'm gonna give you a full cafe tour of the hot trending five cafes in Songsu. And also, this area is becoming really, really popular. You're gonna see a lot of old and you're gonna see a lot of new. There's upcoming like pop up stores, restaurants, there's a lot of cute cafes, concept stores. But at the same time, you have a lot of old warehouses and factory that's still like making stuff. It's like in action, you know what I'm saying? So it's a really cool place to check out. And yeah, we're gonna hit up the first cafe, so let's go! Alright guys, so this is Hongsu Station Exit 2. Now we're gonna go to our very first cafe. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so ready for this. All right, so we got all the signature menus. This is the Hunter Latte. There's a bit of espresso and I think ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Mary Misu. This is tiramisu with strawberry, I think a little bit of matcha powder. And then we got the Pigochi, <laughs> which is pecan gotgam. So persimmon, dried persimmons and cream cheese. It's not this so cute? And since this is a cafe plus it's a pub, I think they have a lot of side dishes for just like wine and whiskey too. And uh, of course we have to get Americano because it's the first cafe. And yeah, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. So for Hunter Latte, they give us instructions to first taste it with the spoon and get a bit of the ice cream and coffee. And then they said to melt the ice cream. It's like affogato. It's like coffee and then you have the melted ice cream there. And then they have like the choco powder. So it's like a very nice combination of everything. If you like strong espressos, I think you'll love this. Ooh, so this is the Mary Misu. Kind of get everything. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, hold up. Hold Ooh. up. Oh my god. Oh, there's little rice cakes. <gasps> oh. They say it's like tiramisu. Mm. But there's a twist to it. You have the red bean paste on the bottom. And then you have this like fluffy cream from the matcha and the strawberry goes perfectly together. This is actually really good. It's not too sweet either. No, it's so I'm gonna go in for this one. <gasps> so cute! Malang malang and soft. That combination of the persimmon and a bit of what is that cream? Mm, cream cheese and then the roasted sweet pea pot. Oh my god, I wanna can I get a glass of white wine please? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so good and it's getting pretty busy now you guys and 
Um, I just have to say that we have to come back someday to have some wine because the side dishes are... Also, there's Amore Hongsu right over there. You have to check it out. You're gonna be there for like two, three hours though for you skincare lovers. You can find each and every brand from Amore Pacific. All right guys, so we're gonna be hitting up Magpie and Tiger. It's this building right here. It looks fancy schmancy. It's on the fifth floor. I think there's a clothing store from the first floor to fourth floor. And then the cafe is on the fifth floor. English menu, so you can ask for English menu. All right guys, so we're here at Magpie and Tiger. This is a beautiful cafe, especially if you want to experience Korean tea and they do have some selection of Chinese tea as well. It's amazing here. This is like my one of the top recommendations that I want to give. They have a shop actually in Shinsa as well, but that one you have to make separate reservations on Naver. And it's actually within Clear Soul, that building. So once we went with our friends, we just fell in love. It's such a wonderful cafe here. It's so good because it's only two minutes away from Songsu Station. And this is a place where you can come alone. Look at this beautiful bar seat. You don't have to be bothered by anyone. <laughs> be here by yourself. You could charge your phone here, which I love the small details. And it's so nice here. Much more chill. The vibe is just like perfect to have a cup of tea. We got the Emu ripe pure tea iced. And we also got the Hadong mugwort tea. This is pure Korean tea. And you know that mugwort. In a Korean mugwort is the best. So we got this. We also got the mugwort basket cheesecake. And we got the walnut baked rice cake, which looks so good. We also got matcha tonic, which is non-alcohol. So no worries guys, I'm not gonna be buzzed. And also, they're gonna brew it for you one more time. So keep that in mind that you can have it twice. <laughs> never imagined tonic and matcha would suit this well. It's a little bit, there's a hint of sweetness. It's so refreshing. I love this. It's so like woody and clean. My friend said it perfectly. It tastes like ginger bun. <laughs> It tastes like Korean spa. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mugwort. Mm. I mean, we love it on our skin, but we love it in our tummy too. Mm. There's a bit of like floral and like fruity to it, but a very nice hint of it. It's so good. There's a you could you could taste the matcha, but it's not strong at all. Mm. 
This one's not too sweet either. It has red bean paste, walnut, mm. and there's like a hint of chewiness inside, and outside is a little bit crusty. Mm. Mm. I like the texture. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel so healed and just at peace. This is one of like those cool cafes. It's hard to come across, but it just makes you feel so calm and relaxed. So you guys have to come to this spot. All right, guys, we're here at Yeonmujang Cafe and the closest station is Hongsu, exit number four. And this is actually a cafe and a pub. And I heard that they have a cute rooftop. And on the fourth and fifth floor, I think they have like a multi like fashion shop you could also see cute little dishes and things like that so anyways let's go check it out Ooh. so this is the gallery mm. and then this is the cafe lemon cheesecake cookie and the s'more cookie it just looks so good <gasps> oh! it's like the soft kind mm. oh, <laughs> smells like lemon very citrusy mm. Mm. it's really sweet though but there's that citrusness and it feels like I'm eating it with like almost a donut. My stomach. Ooh. You can't go wrong with this one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> Crispy on the outside, but super soft on the inside. And the marshmallow goes so well. Surprisingly, this one's not as sweet. Which one do you like better? <laughs> it's like saying you like mommy better or daddy better. <laughs> but, mmm, through the antenna. Definitely we'll be back to get some drinks next time. Oh, 
All right, guys. So we're gonna go to our next spot. And I think Yeongmujang, especially when the weather gets better, you guys have to hit up the rooftop. Mm. It's gonna be so nice. And you can start drinking from 3 p.m. Woohoo! I love how there's like the pop of new, but there's that old at the same time. There's also Aesop and Lulabo right around the corner. So there's a lot of cute spots that you have to hit up. We'll do a separate episode of all the skincare places, all the cute pop-ups that you have to check out. All right guys, so we're gonna go to Four Plan Cafe now. It's near Duksam Station, so let's go. Oh, you know what? We were about to miss this spot because it's kind of random. And usually there's like a lot of like apartments here and more of just like a living space, I feel like. So you might miss it, so don't miss the street. It's in this alleyway. This area is like a co-working space and then they have another section where I think you have to shush up though so you can work on your own. <gasps> that area looks so good. Alright guys, so this cafe is more of like a workspace cafe. This very area, I think it's for people that are alone. So you can come here alone with your laptop or your book. I think it'll be perfect. And they did have brunch menus too. So whenever you're hungry, you can just eat here and you know do your thing. And then the other area, it's actually within groups. So it'll be a little bit louder, but still everybody's kind of working, doing their meetings. So I think you'll feel really motivated to work here. And for the drinks, I got the lime mojito. And you could get it alcohol too, with extra like 1,500 won or something like that. But we got non-alcohol. And we also got hot ginger tea because, you know what I'm saying? We need a little bit of ginger in our lives. Also, as you guys can see, this space is designed by different architecture that came together to design this place. As you can clearly see, it's just a bit different. And it has a bit of its own color and things like that. So I love it here. Mm. They warned me that it's strong, but I feel like ginger. This is really good. It's ginger! <laughs> Alright guys, so let's check out the last cafe now. Alright guys, so this is the last cafe we're going to. It's called Byosa. I actually went to the chain in Jamshir and it was so cute. They have a lot of Korean style desserts, which I feel like you're gonna love. So alright, let's go in. Byosa. Last cafe! Last cafe! <laughs> I'm high on sugar! <laughs> Alright 
All right, guys. So we got pungopang, and that's fish-shaped buns with bread bean paste in there. You see a lot of like street, like you know, little shops with pungopangs. And we have yanggeni, which means um, sweet jelly uh, of bread beans. And then this is the chocolate flavor. And we also got the plain one, mugworth and beet. I don't know how I'm gonna like that one, but anyways, we'll try this. And this is like my favorite drink from this cafe. It's Earl Grey. Um, um, lemon tea and it's not sweet at all. It's very refreshing. I love this one. And then we got one of their signature menus. This is black sesame seed latte. They also have a mugwort latte which is really popular too. Cheers! Okay, I'm gonna try the pungopang first. Mmm! Red bean paste and I think it's like cream cheese and like red bean paste. Yeah, I love this one. I like yanggeni, the texture of it always. But if no one told me, I would think that's just chocolate. This is it's really good. Mugworth. Mm. I could I could taste it now. Mm. More. Where it's bitter, kind of strong work, but very good. Good combination with the sweetness. <gasps> you can mm. see the black sesame on the bottom. Mm. That's so like nutty, and you could really, really taste the black sesame. I think they really grinded the black sesame. You could see it on the bottom. This one's really good. It's a bit too sweet for my taste, but the black sesame, it's it's real. It's it's there. You can definitely taste it. All right, guys, I'm a little bit sugar high right now, but that concludes the five cafe tours at Songsu. I wanna maybe mention a few that I really loved. I loved Magpie and Tiger. I just feel like that's like a cafe feeling that you don't really get a lot anywhere. So it's very chill and it's just so nice. Even you can go with your friends or you can go on your own. So I think you're gonna love it. I also loved A to B. Oh, I want to go there at night too. See how it's like pop in at nighttime because the desserts were so amazing. Just the vibe itself. And I love that during the daytime, people came alone and like worked on their laptop too. And it was just such a cute little place. I think you're going to love it. And I know that I said I'm only going to talk about you, but I think if you want to work on your own and you just don't want to be bothered that day, go to Four Plan. Oh my God, me, I'm going to get my notebook. I'm going to drag my husband though on a weekend. And I just want to be there the whole day. They have brunch menus. They had like pastas and they had a lot of good drink menus too. All right, guys. So comment below on which area you want Oni to explore next. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, my unicorns. Bye. I'm sugar high. Let's go. <laughs>